Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at what new rats, quote unquote, go through in Hell Week at Virginia Military Institute. For those of you that don't know, there are uh, military colleges that instead of a like your traditional West Point or like your, your regular ROTC, this is a version of ROTC that is a military institute. So we're going to be taking a look at this. We're going to see what it's all about uh, because well, clearly I don't know what it's all about, to be honest. And I'm curious what it kind of looks like. You will This is Hell Week at Virginia Military Institute. The oldest public senior military college in the U.S. On a hot and humid Saturday in August, 496 new freshmen, or rats, arrived at VMI I'm to begin what the I'm first seeing. week of the rat line. A challenging six-month process they must complete before they officially enter the Corps of Cadets. No, no. What is a rat? I... Ah! Ah! <laughs> should we... Hey, should this be the thumbnail? That's quite something. So, from my understanding, these guys are not... They're all like ROTC cadets. They are not. Some of them may be enlisted or maybe they were prior enlisted and now they are like doing the ROTC uh, green to gold type thing. I don't know, but I think it's class rank is where they're saying the yes corporal, yes sergeant. I could be wrong though. Oh no. yes, what is a rat? I believe it's described as the lowest, dirtiest thing on earth. You will stay at all times. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Since the 1850s, new cadets have been called rats and refer to each other as brother rats. Brother rats, brother rat, brother rat, brother rat. They dropped the moniker after the rat. Okay, so that just reminded me, so that chick, she licked the top of her lip uh, and that reminded me of a story of basic training. So you can tell they're just dripping sweat. So when I was at Fort Benning, Georgia and basic training, same shit happened, right? You're dripping sweat. And what the drill sergeants would tell us is they would be like, are you a cat? and stop licking yourself. <laughs> like, so we'd be sitting there just letting the sweat drip down you. Otherwise they would keep smoking us if they saw people continuously licking the sweat, you know, off the top or around their lips. So, uh, pretty funny. That line ends. Golf company. All right, excited, you ready? Yeah. Awesome, let's go. This guy's all stuff. nice to him. On matriculation day, new rats are welcomed by cadets. Welcome to the Virginia Military Institute and the Corps of Cadets and by VMI Superintendent Major General Cedric T. Wins. So today your journey begins. Wins, a VMI graduate, was appointed in April 2021 as the first black superintendent in the school's 182-year history, a milestone since VMI didn't racially integrate until 1968. Which would have been around Vietnam time. Then. Okay. The new rats say goodbye to their families before it's officially time for them to join the rat line. VMI's it Virginia was a military sad moment, but at the same time, it was a sense of excitement knowing that I have a new path ahead of me. Very optimistic way to look Go at ahead. it. I know a few people that went to this school. Rats march into barracks to officially meet their cadre. The group of upperclassmen charged with training and disciplining the new rats. It was surreal. I was not expecting any of that. People are yelling, screaming, running around and everything. I didn't know what to do, what to think. Dude. I just felt so alone. That's bananas. With all the rats inside, the barracks gates were locked, barring all visitors. Except us, because we're business insider. But at the same time, awe-inspiring. That moment where you know, this is it. The slow walk-in is like the intimidation factor. It's supposed to like intimidate the rats and it's just to give the rats like a culture shock of where they are so that they understand what they're getting themselves into. Makes sense, it's just like basic. After 
this not so warm welcome from the cadre. The rat's next stop is the barber shop. Female rats must wear their hair in a tight bun or ponytail and can't have it fall below the shoulder blades. Male rats have to shave their heads. Why are you holding them? So I can cherish them. <laughs> cherish them? Hair longer than eight inches is cut and donated to charity. Oh, that's kind of cool, though, that they donate the hair. That's good. VMI cadets are not obligated to serve in the armed forces after graduation. And tuition costs about $30,000 per year for Virginia residents and about $60,000 for out-of-state Double? Kids. For out of state? Why come to VMI if you don't have a plan to serve. A normal college, like the way I'm wired, I feel like I wouldn't be able to succeed as well as at a normal college. I, I think I need some discipline. <laughs> I mean, at least he knows. The appeal of VMI is the alumni network, which includes politicians like Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. I think the connections here will be useful. So many opportunities, connections. About half of cadets do not go on to serve in the military, yet they still chose this for their college experience. The rat line, it's all mental. It's to put pressure so that you can be more mentally tough. Giving rats a very stressful environment shows them that you're at the bottom, you have to work your way to the top and also What's crazy is, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you all, this looks way more hardcore or may, way more of a shock value than what I saw, at least in the West Point video. Now, here's the thing to remember. Everybody is going to look at something differently. And what I mean by that is Big Army may have looked at, hey, we have Business Insider coming to take a look at West Point. We don't wanna show them that we're gonna freak a bunch of people out and we don't want them to come here. Versus VMI could be looking at this completely different in a different site. And they're just gonna show what every cycle is versus for example, uh, it's no surprise or no shock to anybody when you hear that when they have video cameras rolling, the drill sergeants at basic training kind of change their demeanor or change what they physically are saying and some of the things that they're saying. I can guarantee you this, you would never hear what my drill sergeant said to all of us when we were at basic training on video ever because of some of the stuff they said was absolutely outrageous, ridiculous, and downright, uh, some of it was pretty bad. So that's what I'm getting at is that I think that what we saw for the West Point video wasn't the full picture. Definitely. Obviously, it's the first day, but this is the uh, the first day inception of what they're doing going through hell week. So we're, I'm assuming we're seeing an entire week of what's going on. But, uh, you know, I think what's interesting is that for them saying, hey, we're not getting uh, the full experience because we all aren't half of them aren't signing a full contract into the military. At least they are getting kind of an experience, kind of like what Goof was saying. They better not brag about how they got military experience if they don't sign the contract, but at least they may have a better understanding or some way, shape or form of kind of what military personnel go through, at least as far as like the uh, initial entry training portion, not necessarily the day to day of life. And I think that isn't a bad thing. So you need to be able to like overcome pressure and like obstacles in your way. The rats form up outside where they continue to get to know their cadre. Shut that dog in the back. That's it right now. Right now. Right now. You right here. What? Don't talk back to me. Shut up. Shut up. That's how life is here. You just had to stand there. Try not to do anything. Try to be as invisible as possible. Rats learn the VMI honor code, which they repeat over and over again. So fun little fact, almost every single commissioning source has a quote unquote honor code. So when you go through officer candidate school, you have to sign a agreement basically saying that you will not break the code of conduct and the honor code that is there. And they have a bunch of stuff that you have to go through. Now, did we have to memorize this stuff? Not really, but you had to have an understanding of, you know, basic shit, like don't cheat. All the things that you basically would understand if you went through high school or college. What's it like to be a female student at VMI? So if I'm being completely honest, it's a little harder, but you definitely have to be stronger as a female here because any sign of weakness, their excuse is, oh, they're a female. <laughs> so there's a term here for female. It's called sheed. I think it's supposed to be like she cadet, something like that. I personally don't like the word. I don't let anyone around me say it because I take offense to it. 
because even though there's some females here that take pride in it, like I'm not a, I'm not a female cadet. I'm just a cadet and that's all I will be. Female cadets couldn't fully matriculate at VMI until 1997, after a Supreme Court decision forced the school's policy to change. And the culture of VMI continues to be scrutinized. Systemic racism and sexism at Virginia Military Institute. Tuesday, the special investigation team released their findings in a 150-page report. In June of 2021, a special investigation ordered by Governor Northam concluded that, quote, institutional racism and sexism are present, tolerated, and left unaddressed at VMI. Damn. First, I would tell any parent or any prospective student that I'm a product of Virginia Military Institute. As the superintendent, I'm focused on doing what needs to be done to make sure that the Corps of Cadets understand that that type of behavior is inconsistent with the character of honor and honorable cadets, and we need to eliminate it from our ranks. Since the investigation began, monuments touting VMI's... You know, that's a good point that he brings up, too, because if he, he's a product of it. He went through VMI. What's pretty crazy about that is for him to be uh, a product of it and have him come back, he understands, you know, what he experienced and what he went through. So I think it's smart for them to take somebody who had experienced it, who went through and knows what the school is about, to bring them in to then lead this school. I think that's smart. Eyes to the Confederacy have since come down including a statue of Confederate general and former VMI physics professor, Stonewall Jackson. What was your reaction to that report? How did that impact you when you found out about this news? It was disheartening to hear that such a prestigious school had to deal with it, but at the same time, I wasn't deterred. I've, growing up, I've dealt with racism in so many different parts of my life that if there's some here, so be it. I won't let that hinder my personal aspirations. That kid's strong. That kid's Companies strong. Formed. Hell Week officially Mentally begins. strong for sure. They teach you how to wear your uniform properly, shine your brass, shine your shoes, fold your clothes. Get this off the table, Rob Johnson. This Mr. Team Guy Sergeant. Hurry up. Pick it up. For rats. Don't leave a mess. Life is no less stressful in the dining hall, where they adhere to strict protocols. That was very similar meals. to basic training in officer candidate school. Mouth, not your mouth to your food. Do you understand me, Rat Bowls? When you get back to your room, fix your name tag. You can get harassed anytime about literally anything. Don't eat like a cowboy. You eat like a civilized person. Do you understand me? The upperclassmen have basically free reign to yell at you for whatever they want to. Open your mouth! Yes! They just learn how to be rats, learn the basics so that they can get through this semester and then halfway through the next. Back. Get your fork back! Who am, fork I? Who am I? One of the basics rats learn during Hell Week is how to properly strain, strain. which refers to the uncomfortable position they must take yes, corporal. whenever they're inside barracks oh. for the duration of the rat line. <laughs> Yes, sir! Strain! Strain! Yes, sir! Can you show me what the proper technique is? I mean, you put it back, <laughs> and you just kind of like <laughs> lean back at the waist. Shoulders back, chin in, and then stick your forehead back as far as it can go. Yes, sir. Every class has certain privileges. Rats, their only privilege is to strain, and as you go up, you get more privileges. Oh my what? gosh! Me after the night of Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't, dude. Held rat line traditions like straining continue at VMI. Yes, Corporal! But the Institute has adjusted some training since the appointment of Superintendent Wins. Cadet Cadre now participate in a leadership academy on professionalism, accountability, and appropriate behavior okay, that's when smart. dealing with new cadets. Look at my face. So the reason that they do that, right? Think about this. If you just have cadets going free reign, no training before they go and do this, maybe they just sit down and have a class uh, before they decided to send them to something. Who knows what that even looks like too? It could just be a box check for all I know because the army's great at just doing box checks and saying, F it, this should be good to go. That's good enough. We're telling them, we gave them the steps to do it. It's on them. But if they actually are sitting down with them, you know, showing them, leading by example, explaining this is how things need to be, then yeah, it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out great. Rather than it be just a 
a system of I when I was a freshman I had to deal with this so you're gonna deal with it too because I'm a sophomore I'm a junior I'm a senior you know it's important to give them some type of steps to give them the tools to success to be good leaders and instructors in front of the first year rats if you want to call them that and new measures for reporting incidents have been put in place we have what's called a cadet equity association and it's intended to a deal with reports that might come about where an incident of racism or sexism has occurred. Get out of here! Come here! Come here! Hell Week culminates the following Sunday oh, no, with an event known as the Crucible. Yes. A series what are they, the Marines? of physically challenging events, including a swim in a nearby river and a physical challenge where rats race each other to flip over large tires. But after lightning struck near post, the rats were ordered to return to barracks. Die! Die! Hey! Sergeant! With the rats safely back in their rooms, it appeared the crucible would be cut short. They told us to just clean our room, so we didn't really expect anything after that. We just thought the day was over. Hello! But the cadre had different plans. The crucible events canceled Oof. by weather were replaced with what's known as a sweat party. Let's go. Make, make the walls sweat. We had a five round sweat party. Each round was three minutes long. And it's just a high intensity workout is the best way to put it. I wouldn't call it a pleasant experience, but I don't think it was supposed to be. After five exhausting rounds, the sweat party was over. Brother Rat! Right. And what so the was, was Hell Week. Brother Rat! Right. The first step of the rat line. The six month journey that the class of 2025 must complete before officially joining the Corps of Cadets. They have blank rank on, that's really weird. Brother Rat! Brother Rat! Brother Rat! Interesting. I don't know much about it. I have some friends that went through uh, the experience and they've kind of talked about it, but not too much. Honestly, kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts were. Very weird. Glad I didn't go there. I got the shivers. Whenever I'm thinking about you.